Okay, letting you guys out. <laughs> Come on, you two. Come on. What's awful is we've had a sleety rain and the ground is icy. So even where it looks like this, it's like walking across an ice sheet. Now it's easier to walk here, but the yard I was just walking across is lethal. I nearly went ski ice skating. So today is a big day. The rams are leaving the yews and we're gonna have one big, huge flock of sheep, of yews, and the rams will have to be stabled for about a week or 10 days till they get the fights knocked out of all of themselves about deciding who is the dominant one. So it'll be four rams in a stable. Um, you have to let me get up close and it's very slippery. I don't wanna land on me arse. And that electric fence is on. Can you move? Ugh. Everybody's waiting. Oh, Jesus. Stop. I'm in not in a great position. <laughs> They're getting me with their heads. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Woo. Brindle. Brindle, Brindle! Okay, dogs! Java! Inca! Maya! Java! Good dogs, stop. Good dogs. Good boy, Java, you stopped. You're learning about. Ah, uh, uh, Java! 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 Oh, he's just looking for food. Good girl, Inca. Okay, so I've got to close these guys up. They don't have very much food because I'm keeping them hungry because I'll be using the magic bucket to move the flocks about the place. So they literally are only getting about a mouthful each in this feeding. Once these guys are fed, they're gonna go into here. Then the lot that's in the field across the way are gonna come up to the shed so I can take the ram off. Then that lot are going to come down into this field and go into that field with the yo lambs. Then I go get the other lot. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep the yo lambs separate because I still have to do some ear tag work and things like that. Look at Inca patiently waiting for her turn. So the two yo flocks, once the rams have been removed, are gonna go back down in that field there. So, then these guys, I've got to do some paperwork on them and then they can join the yo flock. And then I have only two flocks, the yo flock with the alpaca and the um, uh, ram flock. But the rams will have to be housed so that they can beat each other up in uh, a confined space so they don't break each other's necks or kill each other. And they'll be there for about a week, 10 days. Look, you've cleaned your platters. Now, I've got to herd you out of here. Brindle, wait. Well, they're still nibbling on that food trough. See, when I let those girls out, they're gonna come over and think there's food here immediately. But I'm gonna have to do the magic bucket thing up to the shed. And it's a kind of dull day. Earlier, it was even more manky as the sleet fell. Okay. Come on, Brindle, leave it. Come on. Okay, Brindle, leave her. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, ah. You've got to go out the gate. Go on. Good girl. Okay. Now I've got to set up for them up in the yard before I 
bring them across. And by that stage, these guys will have spread out across the field. So when these come roaring through with the ram, they won't be here to tease the ram and say, ooh, look, we're here. Okay, so back up to the sheds. I've been feeding the birds in the garden. I now have to make my way back across this area. And this is where I'm really glad I don't spray <laughs> poison my grasses. Literally, this is an ice sheet. I don't know if you can see, the dogs are fine walking on it because they got four feet. I have to walk across finding, with my knees bent, the grassy spots. Otherwise, I will end up on my bum. That is one glossy ice sheet. So the dogs, it doesn't matter with the dogs. They've got four legs. But this whole thing is an, a sheet of ice. So I'm now walking on this edge, which we mow. It's part of the driveway. Most people probably would have poisoned this, but um, sprayed it off. Not me. <laughs> the dogs are playing. Now, I've fed the birds. I'm gonna go and move the first flock. The yo lambs will have gone to um, across the field. Really, guys? Really? Calm down, good dogs. And look, those are still looking beautiful. Now, this, oh no, see what's happening? I was hoping they wouldn't see me. They're all galloping across the field. Look at that. They all think I'm feeding them again because I'm here because they didn't get very much. But I'm actually moving these guys who haven't had their breakfast yet. Isn't that right, little bit? Can you get back? There <laughs> you go. Come on, boy, girls. Here's my beautiful hickory. Come on, girls. They're all here now. Come on, girls. Come on. Woo. Come on. Come on. Come on. Woo. Come on, girls. Come on. Woo. Come on. Come on. Out of girls. Come on. Oh, the sun's coming out. Come on, girls. Oh, few have to be treated for scald now. They're lame. Not foot rot, we haven't had that for years. You gonna go up? Go on. Come on, girls. These are, those last two are two of the new babies. The new sheep bought in November. End of October, November. Okay. So we have a bit of scald. I'll have to treat. What I might do is... Hey, you. That's one of the new yos. Java, leave it. They're not used to... The sheep are here to get some apples. If there are any left. Everybody's been eating them. Come on, girls. Come on, 
ladies. Brindle, leave it. Brindle, leave it. Good girl, leave it. Okay. Oh, we've got two stragglers. Yeah, catch up. Come on, Judy. You've got a touch of scald. I'll be treating that. A brindle lever. Okay. They're in. I've got to go close gates now. They're all in there and they have a bite to eat for the time being. A misty sun has come out on this miserable, sleety, wet day. Java, you're being rude. Chill. And I'm coming to get the second flock. You can see the trees, two of the trees we planted yesterday. That crab apple I planted a while ago. This is a red oak here, and the one behind is a maple. And a really colorful maple. Java, you're being rude. So here are the girls. Once the sheep are out of this field, it's gonna have a break for the winter. So it can grow its diversity back again. Come on, girls. Atta, girls. Come on. I said, you're not giving us any food. Java's there. Okay. So I've got to give them a little help called magic bucket help. This spin will be moved. Hello, Kestrel. Okay. Come on, girls. You have to let me open the gate. Come on, girls. Come on. They still think I'm gonna feed them here. Even with the gate wide open, they are still here. Okay, so the magic bucket is gonna to have to do its thing. There. Okay, are you coming girls? You've got it, you can't. Come on, don't trip me up girls. Hey, Java, no. There we go. Leave it. Brindle, leave it. Java, leave it. Okay, they suddenly think, oh, ooh, there might be something better at the end of this. There we go. Hopefully they're gonna go down the driveway. Nope, they're gonna go up under the cherry tree. Well, there's a lot of cow parsley under there. That's what they're gonna be nibbling at. Java, leave it. There we go, hopefully some more. Hey, Java, Java, come here. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Outta girls. You coming? You good girl. Come on, girl. And around the corner they go. I only have three here. Who's behind me? Oh, hello, gorgeous. How are you, Gracie? Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shift it. Go on, girls. 
the rest of them have gone all the way up to the little orchard. Those three haven't. Now you've got to go up the hill. Come on. No, 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 no. Come here. In, uh, Brindle, leave it. Come on. Oh, bugger you. Brindle, you just stop it. Come here. Oh, back. Oh, bloody hell. Brindle, when they do the wrong thing, they do the wrong thing. Go on. Go on. Shoo. Go on. Up. Oh, the whole flock is coming down now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Brindle, get out. Out, 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 out. Get out. Good girl. Sorry about yelling, but sometimes you just have to. And the dog does the wrong thing. Oh, Lord. You have to listen. You're bold. Java, quiet. Uh, and the handle's falling off. Uh, sometimes things are not easily done. Okay. Now, put that in a safe place. Come in, lock you out. Sometimes gentle persuasion. Yeah, my sheep have wrecked my lovely fence here. Ah. Okay, now, okay, go on. Come on. Out of Java, come on. Go on. When my back was turned, Brindle jumped the gate. <laughs> but she'll stay behind me now that I've been roaring at her. Okay, so that is the two breeding flocks are in, or they haven't been taking the rams out yet though. That's the next phase, extracting rams. Java, leave it. And the yo, the lamb flock, going, what's going on? Hickory is separated. And all of his yo's are in here now. Now all I have to do is get uh, Leon and his yo's in here. So put some food in there and call. So a touch of food. And they're almost already here. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Oh, hello there. Magpie. Come on, girls. Woo! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Brindle, come back here. Okay. Now. Find the ram. Oh, there he is at the far end. And see if I can separate him off. He's found all the other yo's. So. Okay, where'd you go again now? I've lost track of you. Okay, the ram's there. Now, 
these ladies. I open this gate and put them in here. Come on. Whoops. Oh. Okay, there we go. The flock is growing. Come on. Okay, he's up there with two. And I'll put these ladies in here. Come on, go on, get back in. Okay, now down to just two. The ram will not be a happy camper, especially in such close proximity with another ram. Okay, you can go through this gate. Go on, go on, Grace. That's the ram. Okay, there we go. So the two rams are now separated. I've got to go put them in the stable now. But first, the, all these ladies are settled in here. I've got to put you in the pen. You're just patiently waiting, aren't you? You're gonna come in. Good girl, go on, a girl. Yeah, because the frozen weather, we've got a bit of scald because feet will get sliced and things like that. Anyway, that's a shed full of yos. Ah, and they've got two aspects of bales to graze. Now is uh, sorting the rams out and putting them in the stable together. I've got to get the other two rams down as well. So I'm going to leave that ram there, that ram there, and I'm gonna go get the other two rams.